Okay, so today is the 16th of January, and uh, yeah, uh, the package that came for me today. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, it is literally broken open at every single corner. Which is not a good sign, it's not a good start. Oh, I'm hoping it's alright. Uh, it's uh, The seller wrote fragile along every side of the box as well. And uh, clearly, yeah, rolling meal, hmm. Didn't really take care of that. Though to be fair, this box does not feel very strong. To be honest, it does feel like a bit of a flimsy box. So, yeah. I will say that the sellotape they used actually on this, uh, God, it's holding up remarkably well. I think that's the main thing holding the box together, is actually uh, the tape that they used to tape the box together. Oh, yeah, it's got completely rip, ripped apart, yeah. This is basically, the cardboard that they've used for this is not really sturdy enough. Thankfully, it's seemingly all right. And just to show what it is, it's a PS3 Slim. So yeah, oh, it's made out. Okay, it's missing three feet on the bottom. Yeah, it's not awful condition actually. It's more scratched up on the bottom. It's got more marks on the bottom than it does on the top. Uh, yeah, it could do with a clean up. But, uh, yeah, otherwise it doesn't seem too bad a condition. Let's put that to one side. Oop, accidentally pressed the button. Ooh, it's a bit sticky, this. We've got an official DualShock 3 controller. Uh, that analog stick is quite sick. This thing needs a, definitely needs a clean. Yeah. Yeah, it's not uncommon for those analog sticks to actually get sticky, actually, but uh, because uh, basically what's happening is uh, the rubber is turning back into goo. Yeah. Luckily, it's not setting up, setting off uh, my other PS things. You just give it a Christmas wrapping paper in there to give it a little bit of padding, and then on the bottom. So we have the power cable, which is also thicker dust and dirt. It is a longer cable, thankfully. And then we've got two knockoff controllers. In fact, yeah, you, you can even see the battery in them, and also how filthy they are as well. Yeah, they're very small. They're really, really small, these. I mean... Are they smaller than a bloody... Yeah, that's... But... God, I'm bloody juggling everything here. I guess short sure, compared to an actual DualShock 3, which is a pretty small controller to begin with. This one's even smaller. This one's slightly smaller than that. Yeah. It's actually not too bad, this controller. Uh, the D-pad shit, but yeah, it's also in the Xbox uh, configuration as well, which um, me I prefer them to be parallel. That's just what I'm used to. But yeah, this box that came in is uh, shit. Basically, it is what's probably happening is basically the the PS3, you know, Hank being laying flat in that egg, being basically the top bit was there the. Actually, no, the top bit was here, the bottom bit was there, and basically through pressure, it's gone like that. So, yeah, thankfully, <coughs> it's all right. And, uh, I came to bed. Got some uh, baby wipes here. Fragrance, so you're messing. Oops. What I'm going to do is put a little, tiny bit of hand sanitizer on the baby wipes and uh, 
give it give it a bit of a clean but uh yeah this cost me uh 32 pounds plus a fiver postage so the total no whoa whoa no it didn't actually what did it cost me so No, oh, £32 plus £4.19 postage, so this cost me uh, 32 uh, no, £36.19. And, and this is off eBay as well, so that's a really good price uh, for a PS3, particularly on eBay. Now, I there was one, actually, initially I was going to get off Gumtree. Uh, that was uh, £30. Obviously, you'd have to physically go to it in person to pick it up. And uh, that one uh, didn't come with an official control. It came with like a third-party crappy one. But it did come with a couple of games, which I wasn't really fussed on. So, yeah. Though, the thing is, I was going to get that one initially anyway, but it went almost immediately. Which, yeah. So, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to get that one. So, uh, though the advantage of it, me getting it through eBay is that, uh, you know, if it doesn't work or there's anything wrong with it, then, you know, you're, co you're covered and there's more extensive time to check it out. But yeah, just giving that control a bit of a, of a wipe there, a bit of a clean. It look, look at that, it looks better already. It's much better already. There we go. So, yeah. Now the thing is, uh, this is not this is obviously not my first PS3. It's far from my first PS3. Um, if this is working, if this is fully working, then this will be uh, the fourth fully working PS3 uh, that I currently own. <coughs> because actually, I'll just show to the side of me. I'll just show this to the side of me here. Um, I'll unplug this because uh, I had this ready anyway. Oh, come on, there we go. Here's a PS3 Slim. Yeah, this is a PS3 Slim uh, from a very early items to unbox. This is uh, the one that uh, used to be at my granny's actually. This was the one I kept at my granny's and uh, it was mainly used as basically just a Blu ray player. And also, uh, I had a load of MP4 rips of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays on uh, its uh, hard drive on there. And uh, what I literally did uh, the other day, a couple of days ago, is uh, basically I decided to finally uh, basically hack a PS3 and uh, installed uh, Hen on it. And uh, basically, <coughs> you know, I was ho what I was hoping to do is uh you know okay, i am used to this what i was hoping to do is basically that would then allow me to basically play ps2 games on it again with its uh, emulators and stuff like that and uh while there is a way to do it if you have a super slim ps3 or certain model in fact most of the slim models only the first two, and I don't think this is one of them. I actually don't know what mod. There we go. There's the model. Don't know if it's that showing on camera, but there's the model. I'm not quite sure what that one is. To be honest, I know it is a bit. I know it is a, a later model, mainly because of the Sony logo there, because on this one it's just printed on, whereas um, on the earlier Slims. On the earlier PS3 Slims, uh, it was like it is on here, like that. It was basically, you know, all silver, basically, and that and was like a bit of plastic stuck on, but uh, here it's just printed on. So yeah, I think this is a slightly later one. You can see there the USB dongle for the controllers. <coughs> but yeah, um, the reason is... Uh, the reason I main, mainly wanted this actually is uh, because I didn't have a PS... I've never had a PS3 Slim. Never had a PS3 Slim. 
I have got, I have got, arguably I've got, uh, I've got a, I've got two PS3 Super Slims. I've got a 60 gig fact original backwards compatible model, which is actually in the garage, which I should take out at some point, probably take out today. And um, I've also, I've technically also got an 80 gigabyte fat non backwards compatible one somewhere, though that one, um, the Blu-ray drive doesn't work in that one, it never did. Uh, that one I got years and years ago. That, that one I think I got back in like 2011. And uh, the Blu-ray drive never worked. Uh, so I ended up getting my money back on that. And um, everything else works on it. Though I did end up using the hard drive in it. Um, in something else actually. I think I used getting a laptop. So as this doesn't stand up perfectly. Fine, yeah. Might invest on a stand for it. Maybe. I don't know whether I'm using this one. But anyway, what was I going on about? Oh, yes. So I was going to be playing... The problem is um, PS2 Super Slims and most of the PS3 Slim models cannot play PS2 games from an ISO file. <coughs> Which is a problem. Because what I wanted to do... I'll bring it out here. Is uh, you can't just pop the disc in and then play it like that off the disc, it won't let you do that. What you got to do is basically create an ISO file, either through the PS3 itself or through your PC, and uh, then play it off an ISO file. problem with that is, is uh, basically um, Sony basically got wise to it and uh, initially, and then got rid of that, that functionality. So yeah, they blocked that functionality in all their uh, super slims and like halfway, halfish, like a third into the slim models. So yeah. However, there is a way to get around it, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, basically, you gotta download a bunch of uh, encryptors uh, onto the PS3 and then do it that way. And to be honest, I'm debating whether to do that or whether to just. Eat. To be honest, I might end up just using the emulator on my laptop itself. And some people might be asking, well, why don't you use your backwards compatible PS3? And that's a very good point. Why don't I just use the backwards compatible PS3? And uh, I can tell you the reason is... Is uh, basically because I'm too scared to use it because I don't want it to cook itself. Because initially I actually had two backwards compatible PS3s. One of them never worked. Yes? They're downstairs. I don't know. I initially got, um, if you remember, way, way back, I got a non-working one, which I did actually repair. Unfortunately, it broke again. And uh, basically, that one just was unsalvageable. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, he says, get that PS3 cable off the other PS3. And uh, let's uh, hold down the eject button to boost the fans on. Oh. No light is coming on. It's not turning on, that is not a good sign. Oh. That is not a good sign that the light isn't turning on. Uh, We'll grab the original cable. We'll grab the cable it came with to see if that will work. Right, I'm using the cable it came with then, so there's no excuse for it not to work. If it doesn't work, Okay, the light came on now. Okay, so it's just that power cable. And it doesn't light. So yeah, what I'm doing now is holding down the eject button. Uh, to basically... For those who don't know, if you hold down the eject button, 
pull out the power and then plug the power back in uh, it'll basically make the PS3 fangs go full blast so it can basically help vent out any dust there we go uh, the PS3 Super Slim I don't think has this feature I don't think it has that feature so yeah what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to hold it in my lap got an HDMI cable right here I'm just going to hold the console in my lap and uh, see if it powers up let's turn on the TV doesn't want to turn on that's good it doesn't want to turn on great it's not even sure let's try that it really doesn't want to turn on it's just got the well I'll just show this back it's just got uh, the red blinking light. I'm going to disconnect that HDMI cable just for a second there. What do I do with the cap off that cable actually? Let's uh, try connecting. Let's try connecting it to the console via uh, USB but yeah that's not a good sign. The fact that it won't turn on Yeah, it's just a red, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's just a red blinking light. Just there. So, um, I'll try one more time, we will unplug it. We'll plug it back in. Okay. Connect HDMI to it. HDMI 4 is now available. Great, let me bloody select it. And hopefully. Hey, there we go. There we go, so yeah, it works seemingly. It does seemingly work, so HDMI output detected. Let's see. I should hope so. Can I see that screen? Yes. Yeah, these analog sticks, I might just say they're really, they are still sticky. Uh, both of them after cleaning. Wow, this PS3 thinks it's 2012. It thinks it's uh, 2012, yeah. Uh, so a clue date to when this if that was when it was manufactured that must be a really late uh, slim model actually then if that's when it thinks it was uh, manufactured and it is 11 08 Yeah. Uh, we'll just call it user one for now. Just go they get to the splash screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PSN services. You know, we will set it up later. We'll set up internet later. Let me just get to the bloody cross media bar, eh? Hey? Because I'm curious. So is this so if this is one of those last slim models, then I'm assuming it's probably going to be maybe a 320 gig. But that will also mean it's definitely not. Like, I could I could install Hen on this, but it's definitely uh, not going to be uh, a one that I 
we'll be able to just play ISO games. I think. Yeah. All right. Oh no, it's not 111. It's a 120 gigabyte model then. Okay. Oh, so it might be earlier than I thought. So it might be able to. And it was recently updated because it's on uh, version uh, 4.75. And at the time of recording, the latest version is uh, 4.90. But it does work. It does work. Um, nothing in the disk drive. Let's see. Grab this because I've got it to hand. Let's just see if it'll play a game. Recognize it's popped up and it is loading it so the disk drive on it does work so yeah all all a, all a good sign actually all a good sign i have actually a problem at the minute with my uh, ps3 uh, psn account in that uh, basically um it won't let me log in to it it's an old it's my old account not my current account um because uh, it uses my dad's email uh, because um until 2012 i didn't have my own email address I know. But yeah, uh, just for sure. It's loaded. Perfectly fine, so... Yeah, I'm happy with this. So I can... I can quit out of that. <coughs> so yeah, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, actually. Um... I don't know, there is, I guess I there is a mark along the top there as well, actually. It's like a scuff, scuff mark along the top. And I don't know whether that's been caused by the packaging, the way it was packed, or... I'll just go unplug that. Unplug that. I'm sure there's a little scuff mark just along the top there. And I don't know whether that is what that's caused by. Ah, there's the cap off the HDMI cable I use. There we go. Keep that cap on. So, yeah. I know this is being a long-winded one. And that's in the most people have probably sipped off. But, yeah. I um, <coughs> don't know. But the fact that it is working... And that this one is really designed not more to be flat rather than up because it does wobble quite a bit. And that even more even more than a PS3 Super Slim without a stand on this one actually. Well yeah, I dunno. I might do my research and if it is a model that does support uh PS2 ISO playback of games, then uh let's move that then maybe I might do it with that one. Maybe I might. So, yeah. But uh, there we go, people. There, there we go. So, yeah, long-winded one, but there we go. All right, so it's the 26th of... Um, oh, what is it? January. There we go. So, yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to show you... Uh, you know what, I'm going to tell a bit of a story before I show what I've got here. Because the thing I've got is not that interesting and it's a bit disappointing. Kind of. So, basically, I've been in the market to try and find a backwards compatible PlayStation 3. Now, I do own one. I do actually own one. But, it's not in the best condition. Cosmetically, I mean, on the outside and that. And also, I'm a bit too scared to use it in case, you know, it overheats and breaks. Because that is a very common occurrence. It's happened to me before uh, with the one I had previously that was working. So, yeah, I'm a bit too scared, you know, to use it. But I would like, you know, a, a more pristine working one. And uh, basically, I, I was I saw one on a Facebook Marketplace. And uh, the seller... 
wanted £25. It was a bit of a distance though. It was a little, little bit of a further distance. And uh, so yeah, initially I messaged the cell saying, you know, is this skill available? Is it fully working? And they went, yes, yes, skill fully working and everything. And, uh, you know, I accepted the £25 immediately. Uh, then they didn't get back to me when I asked to arrange, you know, a date and time. They didn't get back to me until nearly a week later. Uh, but, you know, finally today went off right to go pick it up. And uh, bearing in mind the listing, which they took down the listing, by the way, they took down the listing. Uh, but the listing showed a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 that, you know, someone had taken. You know, obviously you assume it's the seller themselves because it's not like a default image type thing. It was, you know, someone clearly in someone's living room. So, yeah, but to my surprise, when I got there, uh, the one that they were selling was not a backwards compatible uh, original fat PS3. It was a slim yeah but so you know initially i was like that's not the one in the picture that's not the one you showed in the picture and then they also said to me oh you know uh the, they discovered two things is that one they discovered uh that uh their controllers they had I think they had two controllers neither of them worked and also they couldn't figure out how to sign out of their PlayStation accounts uh, to factory, re they couldn't figure out how to factory reset the PS3. Uh, so yeah, but they said to us, "Oh, if you still want it, you can have it for free." So yeah, I got this for free, absolutely free, which uh, makes me, you know, regret getting that one off eBay the other week. Because obviously I could have got one for free. Oh, there was an Apple sticker on here once, I think. Yeah, that looks like... I'll put it this way around. That, that is clearly an Apple sticker that was on there once upon a time. Uh, I think I might use a bit of WD-40, actually. You know what? I'll spring a bit on now, actually. Yeah, while I'm sitting here, I'll let, I'll let that to sink in. I could also use a lighter fluid, but I don't have any of that to hand. Now, I have already given this, you know, a quick outer clean. It stinks, though. It really stinks um, of, basically, smoke cigarettes. Uh, because, you know, the previous owner was clearly a smoker. And, yeah, you can absolutely smell it. This thing absolutely, st you know, it smells better now than it did before. Okay, so the W40 is... Yeah, it's making that come off a bit. I should have maybe let... Okay, maybe I might need to get some lighter fluid. Oh, it is coming off. It's come off a bit. I might have a proper go of that later. Perhaps. There is still some bits of... Uh... I don't know if you can see there's some bits of dust and dirt and what have you so yeah but uh i did act, they did have it plugged in and that at the time so i do know it's working <clears throat> but i'm gonna plug it in anyway i am gonna plug it in anyway and uh just to see i'm also curious what model it is actually uh i know there's a sticker in that bag i do like to have a look myself so, yeah, we will turn the camera to the TV itself and uh, power on the console. Uh, HDMI 4. All right, okay. Excellent, okay. Seemingly reset itself, or at least to somewhat. Uh, I've got a controller here. Um, let me... 
connect that via USB to this console. So, what is the D? I said it was the 26th, didn't I? So, let's uh, zoom in a bit. So, yeah, it's the 26th, the first. Oh, 2012. So, was that when this was manufactured? And uh, let's see, Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.58 p.m. 58, okay. Yes, it was not turned off the last time because the solid is again yanked uh, the plug itself out. What's happening to the frame rate? But yeah, we're doing a, a decent recovery there. Um, I should do the thing where uh, I make the fan jets go completely full because I can hit, I don't know, if I, well, let's fart on with that, it is making a noise. It is actually making, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if the microphone's picking it up or not, but this thing is actually making a noise, a considerable noise actually, louder than the other one I've got. It's a slight ding on the front actually as well. Well, overall, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Uh, I don't know if the disk drive works. That's, that's why I really wanted to turn it on to see if the disk drive itself um, actually works or not. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, the other Slim I've got, that one should be able to play PS2 ISOs if I put... Um, if I do jailbreak it and... Um, and possibly this slim as well. I don't know. Depends. Depends if it's an early or late one. About. I think it's about half ish. Up here, so these can. Ooh. Here we are. So. So, yeah. Ooh, what games could this person have? Wait a minute, hang on. There's a disc in here. Holy shit, there is. There's a disc in here. We got Final Fantasy X. Ooh, it's a bit, a bit muckied up, but yeah, there's a disc in here. There is a disc in there. I didn't even... Okay. Good to know. Uh, where can I... Even the disc itself skins. Um, hmm. Where can I plonk this for now? Um, tell you what, you can live on the TV stand just for now until I find a, maybe a donor case. It's not a game I'm interested in playing, but you know, it has the disc in there and it has some medieval. Okay. So we've got Silent Hill, we've got Medieval, these are original PlayStation games presumably downloaded to the console. So yeah, what I'm going to do okay, is, uh, yeah, as long as I'm signed out of everything, which, I mean, I should be, I mean, even so I'd have to, yeah, it's trying to sign in, but it won't let me sign in. I'm going to... Does it still let me access them if I create a new user account? Let me see. Will it still let me access it? Yeah, it will. Okay. Eh, hey, okay. So, will it, will it let me access it? I don't know. Let's see. No. Hmm. I thought that was good. Let's, let's just try going back to user 1 again. If not, I'll just keep that just to see if I can play it. Interesting. Uh, let's try again. Let's try, let's try Medieval this time. Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe not. Oh well. Let's have a look. Uh, what what more? What version of a ghost? Uh, system information. You did update it to four point nine zero, and uh, yeah, this seems to be the two hundred and well, the two hundred and fifty gig models. Okay. Okay, that is interesting. Um. Let's see if it plays uh, a disc, actually. Let's see if it plays a disc, so I'm just going to pop in a Blu-ray. And uh, see if it actually plays it. Obviously, if it plays a Blu-ray, then, you know, it'll play a PS3 game and that as well, so... Yeah. Oh, there we go, it shows it. Starts loading it. And that up immediately, so... Yeah. Great, great on that. So it, it is fully working. It is fully working, and uh, hopefully is loading that disc. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's definitely loading that disc. Okay, so yeah, after having a quick look, testing things out just there. It's a fully working PS3. Oh, that disk drive doesn't sound the most too healthy. It's probably s crammed with cigarette smoke and that. But regardless, uh, we'll turn that off for a minute and we'll turn the PS3 itself off. Disconnect it. I want to see if, how much, if any, smoke in that comes out the back. If I wanted to use this console properly, I would probably disassemble it first, to be honest, and give it a proper clean, because it does. It doesn't smell as bad now, but yeah. So, what you do is, to get the fangs to blow out full blast is, basically, you uh, hold the eject, unplug the power cable, plug it back in. And hopefully now, yep, they're running full. Oh God, it stinks! I stuff did. I don't know if you just saw that. But stuff did just blow out just then. It's qu running quite warm there. I noticed. Yeah, but a bit. A bit did blow out there, so there's that. So yeah, there we go. So I think this one I might just put into storage. Uh, some I might put it in the loft, um, mainly because I don't really need it out uh, and that. But it does fully work. It does smell though. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I was to use it, as I said, I'd probably take it apart. To, you know, at least the shell apart and. Give it a bit of a clean out. It does have a slight little ding at the front, but again, it was free. I got I got this completely free, so you know, can't complain there. Working PS3. So yeah, it makes me annoyed I got that one off um eBay slightly. I mean that the one off eBay was in slightly better nick. And it didn't smell. It didn't smell of air uh, fags, so yeah. This one, um Yeah. Fully working and that, so yeah. And might the 250 gig ones, hmm, that is what, like, that one might may or may not be. Actually, I've got a list, haven't I? I've got a list of ones that are and aren't, so yeah. Why don't I check me list? So this one is twenty zero zero CXCs. Yeah, so this one is Yeah, this one is, uh or should be at least, uh so yeah. 
This one there, uh, I might be able to, don't know, don't know. But uh, what I'm going to do with this currently, but uh, it's there, it works, so yeah. All right, so it's the 3rd of February, and uh, here we are at the end of the trilogy, the third and final part, because, oh God, this is so heavy. Ooh, this is a, a big heavy box. And, uh, yeah. Because uh, initially I was just going to put these in with a regular item to unbox, but to be honest, because of them all being the same type of thing, you know, hopefully I group them together. Hopefully I remember to group these three unboxings together. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe what I just said doesn't make any sense. Regardless, uh, I think you can guess what was in here. As it is. Oh god. I saw they're definitely packaged this well. It's an invoice. There, there's my invoice. Uh, yeah, there's my invoice. They taped it to the underside uh, across the middle. Which, yeah, it meant, obviously when I open it up, it's going to go rip, rip, rip. There's a load of bubble wrap here, so they dig, package it up properly. So, let's get, so yes, it is a PS3, and not any PS3, because this time, ooh, it is, I can get this out. Hey, an original. 60 gigabyte model or should I say European original 60 gigabyte model so yeah now this one if you notice here it is missing its little foot there the rubber foot and also the thingy sticker and I'll just put that down to explain why so <clears throat> the seller um, uh, basically messaged me and that uh, confirming to me saying to me you know just so you know I've uh, it doesn't have the warranty sticker on there because I've opened it up to put new thermal paste on it and everything. Which, for me, I was more than happy with because it saves me doing it. Because that would be something I'd probably do. I'll keep this bar wrap. Yeah, uh, doesn't smell of smoke or anything, so it's from a smoke-free home. We've got, uh, we've got some other accessories. We've got this. Which, ooh, those fangs are dirty in that as well uh, this is something that is meant to plug into the front of the console to try and you know give some airflow to it extra airflow however I find these are almost always completely useless so yeah I, I won't be using I won't be using those some I will be using actually no I won't actually be using this one but this is a six axis controller not a DualShock 3 a6 axis. What's the difference? Uh, well, basically, these do not have any vibration whatsoever because uh, there was some, there was basically some legal issues at the start uh, for when the PS3 controllers come out. But uh, interestingly, these are actually also slightly translucent, the six axis ones compared to a regular DualShock 3. So if I shine a light in there, you can see there is no mortar in there, and you can also see that it is very slightly translucent black plastic and uh, if I compare that to here's a, a regular DualShock 3 this is a solid black plastic if I shine the light through there you know it's not shining through it. it's doing nothing so yeah plus also you can immediately tell as well because the weight difference is massive we've got another six axis controller so yeah, ooh. This one though clearly needs a new analog stick. Yeah, the rubber is just re it's, it is just worn down on them. Uh though to be honest, uh they're not difficult to replace the actual sticks uh themselves aren't too difficult to knack to replace, so if I ever do this one's making a I don't think you can hear that. Sounds like something's rattling inside there. I don't know. 
I could either be a loose wire or some dirt or something, I don't know. To be honest, I'm never going to use the six axis controllers, uh, to be honest, because, you know, I'd rather have the vibration. <clears throat> and let's see what else. Uh, we have a charging stand. This is an official charging stand by the looks of it. And when I say scan, it is literally just a, a plastic stand. Yeah. So this does not charge your controllers. This is just something to sit your controllers onto like that. So yeah. Just a bit. I, I never got the point of these. I seriously never got the point of these. Because all it is is just a piece of plastic to sit your controllers up on like that. So yeah, I did have a dock once that you could actually just put slot the controllers into and I don't know what happened to it. I think I did an unboxing of it. <coughs> oh, this is interesting. So we've got a dual USB micro cable. So yeah, these two, these are actually separate cables, as you can see, but they're just connected together. That is interesting, that. That's interesting. Yeah, I think it would have been more useful, to be honest, if it was just a single one that was split into two ends, but I guess it helps with the power source. Ah! The cable that you should never use with a PS3, which is the composite cables. In fact, you shouldn't use composite cables uh, on any Sony console. To be honest, if you're in the UK, use SCAR RGB, and if you're in the US, uh, I'm talking about for PlayStation 1 and 2, uh, use SCAR RGB, and if you're in the US, uh, use component cables. We've got a kettle lead here. So yes, yeah, there's a kettle plug end. Is this the one that originally came with? I don't know what it is about, it just looks a bit odd. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's everything in that box. <clears throat> so, this, as you can see, having a look at it, it's, it does have some scratches and that on it, unfortunately. Which, uh, yeah, is a shame. Although, you know, I might be able to possibly buff some of that. But the main thing is, is that it has the PlayStation logo on there and the door. Yeah. Because uh, I do actually already have one of these uh, original models. I do actually have one. Uh, ugh, that works, but mine is not in co in the best cosmetic condition. And that, so yeah. P plus this one has external paste and that done. So, yeah. Now, the interesting thing about this PS3... Uh, I would hold it up, but it does weigh an absolute bloody ton. Uh, the interesting thing about that PS3 is, uh, you know, I'll hold up the controller so you've got a visual. So, in the US and Japan, uh, the PlayStation 3 was released in, I think, November 2006, whereas it came out in March in the UK and Europe in 2007. And during that time, you know, even though that was... Ugh, got ahead of that. Even though that was a very short amount of time, there was a lot of things happening with the PS3 during that time period. Basically, Sony was trying desperately to cheapen the PS3 as much as possible. Remove, basically, make it cheaper to produce. And uh, what they did is, initially, they removed... The first thing to go was uh, the PS2 chip. Uh, what is it called? The SIG chip or something like that. But uh, basically, the PS2 hardware that was in the PlayStation 3 launch model in Japan and the US, so that was the 60 gigabyte one and the 20 gigabyte one, they were removed uh, for the European launch. Which means that this does not have hardware backwards compatibility with PlayStation 2 games. It only has emulation, which... Uh, is what the second generation or second lot of models that came out in the US and the and Japan had. Uh, those were the 80 gigabyte ones and that. Basically, 
The easiest way to know if you've got a backwards compatible PlayStation 3, uh, basically, does it have a chrome finish? Does it have four USB ports, and this part being chrome? And uh, does it have these media slots here? And uh, the 20 gigabyte one is exactly the same, but uh, it's all black and it doesn't have the media slots. But yeah, so that is one downside to it. But yeah, I don't know why they ever got rid of the emulation, to be honest. I know it wasn't, supposedly, you know, it wasn't the best emulation, but I remember I had one of these back in 2011, 2012, around that time, originally, and uh, it played PS, the PS2 games I, pl I tried playing in it, it played perfectly fine. I remember I played uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 in there, and uh, yeah, played it perfectly fine, no issue. And I know that won't be for every single one, but still, you know, it's just weird that they decide, you know, they got rid of that because that was just emulation. So yeah, but in terms of the UK and Europe, this original launch model in the in the UK and Europe, this 60 gigabyte launch model, that is the only one that has any backwards compatibility with PlayStation 2 games. The PS, uh, oh, what is it? I think there's four models in the US and Japan that have it. The 20 gigabyte one, the 60 gigabyte original, the 80 gigabyte, and I think there was a 40 gig one that had it. Or something else, or possibly a different version of the 60 gig that was just emulation. Basically, as far as I'm aware, there's two that did it via hardware and two that did it via software. Although, seeing that, the two that do it via hardware, uh, those still have a, cu a couple of games, do still have a couple of issues, rare issues here and there. I know Silent Hill uh, has a couple, though they're very minor, nothing game-breaking. So, yeah. Uh, but the main thing to do now is I'm going to plug this in and, uh, you know, we'll see if the bloody thing works. So, yeah, let's move the let's move the camera up because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this live, and that will this PS3 work? Ah, uh, who knows? So, so it's also, I think it's the I think this one is the only PS3 that uses a kettle lead. I think it's the only one that does. Uh, I'm pretty sure the PS2 Fat just used the regular figure 8 ones. Now, I will say at least, you know, it's still a standard size, although it is less, much less common uh, these days. So, yeah. So, uh, find a free socket. Mm. Come on, free socket anywhere. So yeah, the thing is, uh, this PS3, three, um, if it is working all properly, I'm still not going to use it though. I'm still not going to use it as my as uh, my main PS3. My main PS3 is a PS3 Super Slim uh, because, well, that was the one I originally had, and they are super duper reliable. And I just unplugged the wrong thing. Now the seller did say one more thing about this PS3 to me. Ugh. God. And that is that they said uh, the disk drive said sometimes gets stuck a little bit when it's uh, ejecting disks. Or inserting them, um, which makes me, which sounds like it's it's so one of two things, either the disk drive is on its way out, which I've got a spare one anyway. By the way, this with the controllers and that uh, cost me £84 total. Which uh, I might have been able to get one for maybe slightly less. I don't know if I waited a little bit longer. But to be honest, that's about fair gain. So yeah, but uh, it might just be that the disk drive 
basically the motor just needs a bit of grease. God. Connect HDMI. And this one is also the only model that has a physical power switch. So, moment of truth. Uh, let's get the TV remote. Turn on the TV and we will. Right, so the reg light is on. We're ready. Green light is on. HDMI 4 is now available. Good. I don't care about the bloody football. Sorry about the angle about this. I'm just trying to... It turns on. Oh, wow. It, it, that's interesting. It boots straight into the thing. Okay, um, what, what version are we on? I think they updated it to the latest firmware. Uh, blah, blah, blah. System settings. Mm, not about system information. Oh, okay, so it's not quite the latest version. It's 4.86 uh, rather than 4.90, but yeah, that's fine. That is perfectly fine, perfectly respectable. All right, so uh, let's put in not a PS3 game. We're going to put in a PS2 game. Well, it's slotted in all right. Will it boot up? Oh, there we go. PlayStation 2 format disc, so. It is doing something. I know some people uh, drill holes into the fat uh, PlayStation 3 uh, in order to basically give it more airflow. I'm obviously not going to do that. This is more for. Oh, God, what has it done? What has it done there? Hex, bloody. There we go. There we go. Ask me to connect, but uh, it is loading. It is loading, so yeah, th there we go. There we go. And there are a bunch of uh, different options in that as well, because uh, you can turn, um, if I press and hold that, uh, there should be uh, other things. You can turn smoothing on, which I'm gonna do, because uh, that generally just makes, you know, generally just, you know, smooths out the jagged edges and everything. Oh, back is triangle. But uh, yeah, there we go. So, what I'm gonna do is just quit that game. And that's so, I can confirm, it is working. Hooray for that. So, yeah, uh, this is just going to be more of a one like just keep to have one that's, you know, perfect and that, no issues. Ooh. Ah, okay, I can see it's having problems ejecting. Okay, there we go. If I help. Okay, so. If I can show you. Uh, when I put the disc in, perfectly fine, doesn't want to eject it, but if I hold down the eject button, it then ejects it. So yeah, that's a bit of a weird issue there, but yeah, I, I don't know what that is, but if I just tap the eject button, it doesn't eject it, but if I hold down the eject button, it's perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's a bit bit weird. Uh, let's try a Blu-ray disc, just to check to see if the blue laser is working. Though, as I said, um, if I ever do decide to use this PS3 for anything, 
it won't be for this, it'll be for PS2 games exclusively. Shows that, starts loading it, so that's great. But uh, I think we're going to stop that. Because uh, I, I want my disc back. And I don't want to get copyright, so yeah, it might be a bit long winded on that, this, but. God, it's already gotten so much warmer. It was stone cold, but now I can feel it getting warm. Right, so we're back to the thingy screen now, so yeah. The only thing left to do now is uh, the power option, which is This one not have the fan option. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to do the fan thing where it blasts the fans. Interesting. But yes, there it is. It fully works, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, there we go, people. There we go.